How enthusiastic are you? O sama ako pala. How enthusiastic are you about life? Yeah. Although, yung, yung gusto kong sabihin sa inyo ay sa uh, napakaganda ng buhay na sana ay ini-enjoy natin. What part of your life? Yan. Anong bahagi ng ating buhay that we are so passionate about? Nandoon yun. Yan. Yep. Bale ay po sa ating one word encounter and we'll talk about Zest. Z-E-S-T. Zest. What are you zesty about? Tama ba yun? <laughs> Or what are you zestful about? Yeah. Well, are you enthusiastic about life? Although, ayan, pangkwento ko na sa inyo, talagang bagay yung word natin eh. Dahil merong fortune cookie kanina, binuksan ko. Alam nyo kung ano nakalagay? You are, your zest in life is unparalleled. Ano yung sabihin nun? Tagalogin nyo nga, medyo, alam nyo naman ako, dumudugo ang ilong ko pag tungkol sa ganyan eh, di ba? Parang your zest in life is unparalleled. Tama? Parallel. Yan. Hindi, in, anong ibig sabihin? Hindi kaya sukatin, ano? O hindi mapantayan. Tama, no? Ganun pala siya, unparalleled. Wow. <laughs> Nakakautar, ano? Utar. <laughs> hindi, nakakautar. <laughs> Ganun ba? Anyway, uh, I want to, to, to encourage you actually, that our zest in life be with our desire to please God. That my prayer that we will always seek that God is delighted in us. You know what happened when what happens or what would happen when God delights in you? Yeah, you would like to know. <laughs> Ito lang ang alam ko. Psalm 37 says, uh, Let, let uh, seek the delight of God and oh, tama ba yun? And He will give you and grant you the desires of your heart. Oh, yung pala yun. Kaya we, we, want to, we want to please God in everything. Yeah, we want Him to be... That's actually the, the mission that we have. That's actually the purpose of our life. To please God in everything that we do in our thoughts, in our works, even in our words. Sana magkaroon ng uh, kagalakan ang Diyos sa ating buhay, sa ating ginagawa na, na pagbinati pag binati tayo ng Diyos o kapag ibinida ka ng Panginoon yan, binida ka ng Panginoon ang sasabihin ng Panginoon uh, look at my son yan, di ba parang ganon natatandaan niyo yung kwento kay Job when, nung binida siya ni Lord o oh, tingnan mo, unparalleled um, 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 ganon ba ali di ba, and pag ganon I'm telling you, yan God will grant you your heart's desire Pwede mo pang itapat ngayon doon sa Ebanghelyong nabasa natin that when the two blind men follow Jesus, well, how can they do that if they are blind? Buti na lang magkasama silang dalawa. Kaya silang dalawa nagsusuportahan. Kasi when Jesus arrived at His destination, the two blind men approached Him and says, Lord, Son of David, have pity on us. And when Jesus asked them, Do you believe I, can, I may be able to do this to you? Do you believe that I can do this to you? They answered yes. So what did Jesus do? Jesus touched their, the, touched their eyes and said, Let it be done to you according to your faith. Let it be done to you according to your faith. Because God is delighted, He will give you the desires of your heart. It will be done to you according to your faith. The question is, do you believe What Jesus said. Do you believe Him? <laughs> What do you want? O gusto mo lang yung gusto mo? Ganon bale. Yan. Ano ba yung gusto mo? Maniniwala ka pag binigay na yung gusto mo? O <laughs> binigay yung gusto mo kaya ka naniwala? Ano ba? Paano nga ba yun? Mukhang parehas yung sinabi ko, no? <laughs> Parang siya sabi ko is, kaya ka naniwala kasi binigay yung gusto mo. Okay? So let me tell you the truth. Kaya binigay yung gusto mo, kasi naniwala ka. Yun siya. Because our faith is not just believing that God can. It is actually knowing that God will. The knowing there is actually a relationship with God. You know God. You know that He will. That He will continue to love you. He will continue to be merciful to you. He will continue to forgive you. 
He will continue to lead you, direct you. You've got to believe. And then it will happen. Yes, ang sabi ni Lord, be it done to you according to your faith. And when that happens, my prayer is that you become a channel of God's love, a channel of God's grace, that others may believe in God, that others may believe in Jesus through you. Klaro tayo dyan, ha? Others may believe in Jesus through you. And yes, hold on to that. Jesus is in you. Jesus is for you. Jesus is with you. And Jesus wants to work through you. Allow Him. Allow Him to use you. Allow Him to do that. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, here we are. We lift our hands to you. We lift our hearts to you, O Lord God. Do unto us whatever you want. As you, des as you desire that you use us. We desire that you use us too, Lord God. That we become your instrument. We become your vessel. We become the channel of your love to others. We become the channel of of your grace for people, especially those who are experiencing health right now. Bless them mightily, O Lord God, and thank you for that privilege that you are giving us for using us. We pray this with thanksgiving, with faith, with Mama Mary praying with us and for us. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. Be ses be cesspool. Tama ba yung term na yon? But I want you to really, really be uh, enthusiastic about life. The life that God has given you. And enjoy Him. God bless!